YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy, Ron Real, AKA Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another unboxing. As you guys know, I like to already take it out of the box, make sure nothing is broken, nothing like that, no kind of surprises. All has been well, you guys know, this is the Audu 300 count thermoelectric cigar humidor, as the 150 count humidor was, packaged very well, able to withstand a hurricane, not literally, but just kind of joking along, but the packaging is really good. Now we'll go, we're gonna take a look at this 300 count thermoelectric cigar humidor, which I'm very excited about. I like the 150 count humidor, but you guys know, I like a lot of space. I have quite a few cigars at home. So this unit is right up my alley as far as size and everything like that. So you guys hang tight, stay tuned. We're gonna break it down and get into it. All right, we are here with the Audu 300 count thermoelectric cigar humidor. Pretty much the same thing as the 150 count humidor, except it's bigger, got a little bit more space, pretty much the same thing. What I am gonna say again, I've had this unit for probably about a week now. What I will give kudos to Audu about is the units are very quiet, really quiet units. But we'll go ahead and look at the control panel up here. Just, you got your standard three buttons, you're up and down to control your temperature and your light button. Now this unit goes all the way up to 74. It goes all the way down to 54. So you have a pretty good range. I have mine usually set around between 65, 68, somewhere in there. Another thing I would like to mention too, if you ever, if you dis or if you unplug the unit, which I'll do here, because a lot of people have questions about if you have power outages, things like that will happen. So if you unplug it, defaults just right back to where I had it at 65. So that's a good thing to know, like if you, you're on a short vacation or anything like that, something happens, it's gonna stay around that same area that you are that you had your cigars set at. Again, too, got the light button, which of course you guys know, I'm not a really big light fan. I don't think they are uh, very, very helpful, but you know, some people like them. So we'll open up the door. Got a little bit of a, got that double plated glass in there to help keep with the seal in. Seal on this thing is nice, nice and tight as well too. Mentioned it before in the 150 count humidor unit, you gotta have the door all the way open to get the shelving out, you know. Uh, everybody's not gonna be particular about that. Me, I am because sometimes depending on where you're gonna put the unit at, you might not be able to open the door more than this. So with that, you can't get them out, but that's just a, a little thing that I have noticed with all these units. So as you see here, you got your three cedar shells. Again, like in the 150 count unit, you have the bump plate in the back. I wish that they were added in the front as well too, because I like to keep singles and loose cigars on uh, in my smaller units like this and I'll keep my boxes and things upstairs in the bigger, much bigger units. But I like that they at least put it in the back where if, that way if the cigars don't fall back, you gotta reach all the way back there to try to get them. Of course you got your uh, drawer as well. Water tray is still in here. You guys know this is how I season them. Just pour some distilled water in there. Let it sit for about a week or so. Put you a digital hygrometer in there because these analog ones, they look good, but they don't really function that well. Keep it in there for about a week. Wait till your humidity kind of settles out, which will probably stabilize around 84, 85, somewhere in there. That's when you know the wood is taking in the water. Take your tray out, let it sit for another day or so until it can kind of acclimate again. Then you're ready for your cigars. Now, I also want to mention too, I believe there's a website, it might even be a link on Amazon where you can get more of these aftermarket trays, which for me is probably what I'm gonna invest in. I'll probably at least buy two more and have three different drawers in here because I like to keep single cigars in here. And so I wish that these units at least came with two, but you see here, you're able to put it down here or if you wanna put it here, put it in all these, see if it goes in the top one. Yep. So you can put it in whatever whatever level you want it in. I usually like to keep them kind of mid to low or, or whatever. Because even though the analog hygrometer 
it's not accurate. I still like being able to aesthetically look at it. Or when you walk in, you can, somebody that doesn't know, you'll see the hygrometer and know it's for cigars. So we'll just put it here. Again, with this unit being bigger, you're able to put more boxes in it. So unlike the 150 count unit where I had some kind of different size boxes where it's a little bit more difficult to put the cigars in. Now, you know, if I got a UF-13 box or something like that that's super long, probably still not gonna fit in because of the bumping plate back there. But any other boxes, at least the unit's a little wider to be able to fit more kind of standard boxes in. Of course, you can always take these trays out and just stack them up accordingly. So that's something you wanna take note of as well too. This one doesn't really smell like plastic either. It has that Spanish cedar smell to it as well. This one, unlike the 150 count humidor, you know, it had that kind of mirror reflection kind of tinted window. This one's more of a, uh, just a standard see-through glass. I still think it looks nice as well too. The, the rest of the unit is black. Pretty, I was looking, looking at the side of it. It's probably a little bit, uh, a little bit longer. I'll get the dimensions for you guys too. So y'all hang tight real quick. I'll get the dimensions for you. All right, got some dimensions for you coming back. So if you open the door between these drawers here, you're looking at about three inches of space between there. So you, that's about the dimensions. Of course, here is gonna be a little bit larger, but these here, right around three inches. The unit is about 14 inches wide, 19 and three quarters inches long. And if you're counting the little door stopper up here, it's 25 or 26 inches tall. Without it, it's right at 25. So those are your dimensions there. They're running a really good special on this one right now. The unit is at $249.99. They have a $25 off coupon on Amazon and then I will link below the uh, coupon code which will give you an additional percentage off on the unit as well too. But pretty much other than that, that's all that needs to be said. They just came out with a bigger unit or a bigger version of the 150 count. Of course the door, front doorway is different but function is still the same. So far the unit has been very quiet which is a plus for me mentioned that you can get aftermarket drawers which is what i'll focus more on because again i like to store singles in this some people like to store boxes but this is more of a single thing for me like i said the price point is really hard to beat if you're going out there trying to find a nice wooden humidor you're going to find one that's going to be a lot more expensive and not going to be able to hold the cigars that this one will this is rated at 300 i think you'd probably be able to get 250 in here pretty comfortably especially if you get a couple of drawers in there i don't think that would be a problem at all but uh, thank you guys for tuning in again. This was the Audu 300 count thermoelectric cigar humidor. Don't forget the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We will catch you on this next one. Y'all be good. Peace.